No, this question. A vehicle with a wheel arrangement is shown in figure. So this is a vehicle given. Okay. The vehicle is traveling along a circular path as shown. So it is traveling along the circular path. The wheels do not change their orientation while moving along the circular path. Okay, so their orientation remains the same. Figure 3 shows the location of the center of the wheels. So this four centers are shown. Okay. Distance between center of wheel 3 and wheel 2 is 170. So wheel 3 and wheel 2, this distance from here till here, right? From here till here. This distance is 170. So if I cut into half, so this distance will be half of 170, right? So what do we get? 85. This distance is 85. And the distance between center of wheel 1 and wheel 2 is 180. So wheel 1 and wheel 2. This distance, right? This distance is equal to 180. Okay. They are saying the radius of the circular path followed by wheel 2 is 525 centimeters. So where is wheel 2? Wheel 2 is here. Here. Correct. So the radius of the circular path followed by wheel 2 is 525 centimeters. So basically this radius, right? Here they are saying this is 525. So in this diagram, if I draw the radius, it should be somewhat like this. Right? This is 525. This is the path followed by wheel 2. They are asking what is the radius of the path followed by wheel 1 in centimeters. So wheel 1 is here. So uh, we need to know this radius, right? This radius. Now for getting this radius, I need to know this distance. Correct? We need to know this distance. Okay. Uh, these two points are not connected. Let's connect them also. Okay, so I connected. So by observation, we can see this will be a right triangle. Right? This is a right triangle. Let's say this length is x, this length is x. And this is the radius r which we are looking for. Right? How do you get x? From this smaller triangle. You apply Pythagoras theorem. So you have x square plus 85 square is 180 square. Right? So x square is equal to 180 square minus 85 square. 18 square 324, 85 square 8, um, 72, 7225, and that sub -tick. So what you get? 5, and then 7, 1, 5, and 2, 2 5, 1, 7, 5 is value of x square, and it's not x, it is x square. Now what you do, you apply Pythagoras theorem on this complete triangle, right? On this complete triangle. So where in this length from here till here is 85 plus 525, which is 610. So R square is equal to, R square will be equal to 610 square plus x square and x square we already know 2 pi 1 2 5 1 7 5 so r square is equal to 6 1 0 square 61 square which uh, is uh, 3 7 2 1 right 3 7 you, you can easily calculate this square and 2 0 more 3 7 2 1 double square and uh, this is 2 5 1 7 funny. Five, one, seven, five. You add them five, seven, two, seven, nine, three. Okay. 
3,97,275 is value of R square. You take square root of it and you get the answer. Now, finding square root, right? Finding square root. So, there is a method of finding square root of such large number. One method, uh, you know that you do prime factorization and you find square root. But that is useful only in the case uh, where the number is perfect square. And here I don't think that this number will be perfect square. Right. So another method of finding square root is long division method. I hope many of you would be knowing this method, but still uh, for those who do not know. Let me just find square root using this method. I'm not going to teach you that method. But yeah, uh, you can talk to your faculty so they can teach you this method. Right now, I'm just finding this square root using long division. Right? So I have a number 397275. 397275. What we do? We set up a division problem like this. And then we make a pair of two digits like this. Right. For first calculation, I have nine options. Which are those nine options? One ones are, two twos are, three threes are, two nine nines are. I need to reach 39. So I do six six are 36. You subtract this. What do you get is three. You double this number. You double this number. This is a, so this is the process, right? You double this number. What do you get is 12. You bring this down, 72. Now again, you have nine options to do this calculation. What are those nine options? 121 ones are, 122 twos are, 123 threes are, 124 fours are, up to 129 nines are. You need to reach 372. So 12 threes are 36. So 123 threes are if I do. Right. So what do I get is 3 threes are 9, 3 twos are 6, and 3 ones are 3. Right. And if I subtract it, what do I get is 3. And yeah, then you bring this 75 down. Now what you do? You double 63. You double 63, which is 126. 126. Okay. Now, you cannot do anything with 126, right? Because 126, one zari also if you do, it will be more than 375. So it will be 0. It will be 0. So yes. Approximate square root of this number is 630, 630. So value of R is 630. The answer given in answer key was, uh, it was a range at 615 to 645, right? So this was the answer given. And yes, 630 is between them only. So that is so yes, uh, slightly calculation intensive question, like finding square, finding square root that you should do. But yes, uh, and you say it right. They look for students who are good in maths. Right? 